today's topic is microbiology soil microbiology definition it is a branch of science microbiology which deals with study of soil microorganisms and their activities in soil then what is soil it is outer loose material of earth surface which is distinctly different from the underlying bedrock and the reason which supports plant life agriculturally soil is the region which supports the plant life by providing mechanical support and nutrient required for growth from the microbiologist view of point soil is one of the most dynamic sites of biological interaction in the nature it is the reason where most of physical biological and biochemical reaction related to the decomposition of organic weathering or plant ro- plant parent rock takes place component of soil soil is a admixture of five major components organic matter mineral matter soil air, air soil water and soil microorganisms living organisms the amount proposition of these component varied with locally and climate then its first component is mineral or inorganic matter it is derived from parent rocks bed rocks through decomposition disintegration and weathering processes different types of inorganic compounds containing various mineral are present in soil among as them the dominant soil minerals are silicon aluminum and iron and other like carbon calcium potassium magnesium sodium sulfur phosphorus etc other trace element the proportion of mineral matter in soil is slightly less than half of the total volume of soil then second organic matter components derived from the organic residue of the plant and animals added in the soil organic matter serves not only as a source of food for microorganisms but also supplies energy for the vital process of metabolism which are characteristics of all living organisms organic matter in the soil is the potential source of nitrogen phosphorus and sulfur for microbial growth and plant growth microbial decomposition of organic matter releases the unavailable nutrient in the available form and the proportion of the organic matter in the so- soil ranges from 3 to 6% of the total volume of the soil soil water the amount of water present in soil varies considerably soil water comes from rain snow dew or irrigation soil water serves as a solvent and carrier of nutrient from for the plant growth the microorganisms inhibiting in the soil also require water for their metabolic activities soil water thus indirectly affects plant growth through its effects on soil and microorganisms percentage of soil water is 25% total volume of soil then fourth is soil air a part of soil volume which is not occupied by soil particle pore spaces are filled partly with soil water and partly with soil air these component together only account for ac- approximately the soil volume compared with the atmospheric air soil is lower in oxygen and higher in carbon dioxide because co2 causes recycled by the microorganisms during the process of decomposition of organic matter soil air comes from external atmosphere and contains nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide and water water vapors co2 in soil air is about 0.3 to 1 pounds 1% is more than in atmospheric air soil aeration plays important role in plant growth microbial population and microbial activities in the soil now it comes the soil microorganisms soil is an excellent culture media for the growth and development of various microorganisms soil is an 
is not an inert static material but a medium pulsating with life soil is now believed to be a dynamic or living system soil contains several distinct group of microorganisms and amongst them bacteria fungi actinomycetes algae protozoa and viruses are the most important but bacteria are more numerous than any other kind of microorganisms microorganisms from a very small fraction of the soil mass and can occupy a volume of less than 1% in the upper layer of soil the microbial population is very high which decreases with depth of soil each organism or a group of organisms are res- responsible for a specific change transformation in the soil the final effect of various activity of microorganisms in soil is to make the soil fit for the growth and development of higher plants living organisms present in the soil are grouped into two categories as follows soil flora which contains microflora bacteria fungi actinomites and algae then second comes the soil fauna which is a micro gone to the microfauna group this animal like example protozoa nematodes earthworms moles ants and rodents relative proportion by percent of percentage of various soil microorganisms organisms are bacteria aerobic is 70% anaerobic is 30% actinomycetes is 30 13% fungi moles are 0.03% 0.3%, and other algae protozoa viruses are 0.2 to 0.8% soil microorganisms play a key role in the nutrients then then comes the factor affecting the distribution activity and population of soil microorganisms soil microorganism just like higher plants depend entirely on soil for their nutrition growth and activity the major soil factors which influence the microbial population distribution and the activity in the soil are first soil fertility second cultural practices third soil moisture fourth soil temperature fifth soil aeration sixth light seventh soil ph eight organic matter nine food and energy supply ten so nature of soil then eleven microbial association now it's we, we are going to first start through soil fertility fertility level of the soil has a great influence on the microbial population and the activity in soil the availability of nitrogen phosphorus and potassium required for plant as well as microbes in soil determines the fertility level of soil on the other hand the soil microflora are greater influence on the soil fertility level then second comes the cultural practices it gone to be tillage cultural practices cultural practices cultivation crop rotation ex- application of manures and fertilizers then liming and gypsum application then pesticide fungicides and weedicide application their effect on the soil organism plowing and tillage operation facilitate the aeration in soil and exposure of soil to sunshine and thereby increase the biological activity of, of organisms particularly of bacteria crop rotation with legume maintains the f- for favorable microbial population balance particularly for n2 fixing bacteria and thereby improve soil fertility liming of acid soil increases the activity of bacteria and actinomatoses and lowers the fungal population fertilizers and manure applied to the soil for increase crop production supply fluid and nutrition not only to the crops but also to the microorganisms in soil thereby proliferate the activities of microorganisms then third it arrives soil moisture it is one of the important factor influence the microorganism population and the activity of soil water water is useful to the microorganisms in two way it serves as a source of nutrient and supplies hydrogen oxide to the to the organisms and it serves as a solvent and carrier of other food nutrient to the microorganisms microbial activity and population proliferate best best in the moisture range of 20% to 60% 
and the excess moisture condition water loss condition due to lack of soil aeration anaerobic microfauna become active and the aerobes are get suppressed while the absence of adequate moisture in soil some microbes die out due to tissue dehydration and some of them changes their form into resting stages spores or cysts and tide over then comes its soil temperature next to moisture temperature is the most important environmental factor influence the biological and chemical processes and the microbes microbial activity and population of in soil through microorganisms can tolerate extreme temperature condition but the optimum temperature range at which soil microorganism can grow and function actively is rather than narrow depending upon the temperature range at which the microorganism can grow and function in divided into three groups sacrophiles mesophiles and thermophiles basically the sacrophiles are the cold loving microorganisms they grow bil- below temperature of 10 degrees celsius and the mesophile is a mid term reason temperature they can tolerate about 20 degrees celsius to 45 degrees celsius then it comes thermophiles which are heat loving microbes they can tolerate 45 degrees celsius to 60 degrees celsius optimum range most of the soil microorganisms are mesophilic and optimum temperature for most mesophile in 30 de- 37 degrees celsius then two sacrophiles are absolutely absent in the soil thermophiles through present in the soil behaves like mesophiles true thermophiles are more abundant in the decaying manure and composite heaps where high temperatures prevails the pre seasonal changes in soil temperature affects microbial population and their activity especially in temperate region in winter the when temperature is low the number and the activity of soil falls down and the soil warms up in spring and they increases the number and activity of microorganism now it comes soil aeration for the growth of microorganisms better aeration is required so the microorganisms consume oxygen for soil air from soil air and give out carbon dioxide activities of soil microbes is often measured in terms of the amount of oxygen absorbed or amount of co2 evolved by the organism in the soil environment under high soil moisture level water loss condition gaseous exchange is hindered and the accumulation of co2 occurs in the soil soil air which is toxic to microbes depending upon uh, oxygen requirement soil microorganisms are grouped into two categories ar- aerobic and anaerobic the aerobic ar- microorganisms which require oxygen as their source of respiration in anaerobic condition they does not require oxygen as the source of respiration or energy production then it's called light second six part it comes it's light direct sunlight is highly injurious to most of the microorganisms except algae therefore the upper portion of the surface soil a centimeter or less is usually sterile devoid of microorganisms effects of sunlight is due to heating and increase in temperature then its soil reaction and ph soil reaction is has a definite influence on the ph and qualitative and quantitative composition of the soil microbes most of the bacteria and bluegin algae and protozoa or neutral or slightly alkaline reaction uh, grows in sl- neutral or slightly alkaline reaction of ph 4.5 to 8 fungi grow in acidic condition of 4.5 to and 6.5 while actinomycetes prefer m- alkaline soil reaction of 6.5 then soil reaction also influence the type of bacteria present in the soil then it comes soil organic matter the soil organic matter in soil being the cheap source of energy and food for most of soil microorganisms it has great influence on the microbial population organic matter influence directly or indirectly on the population and the activity of soil microorganisms food and energy supply almost all microorganisms obtain their food and energy from the plant residue or organic matter the body soil in good physical condition have a better aeration and moisture content 
which is organic constituent of humors are responsible for the absence or presence of certain type of microorganisms and their activity it is the nature of soil then comes microbial association and interaction microorganisms interact with each other giving rise to antagonistic or symbiotic relationship the association exists between one organism and another whether of symbiotic or antagonistic influence the population and activity of soil mat- microbes to a greater e- extent the predatory habit of protozoa and some mycobacteria which feeds on bacteria may suppress or eliminate certain bacteria then root exudates are the common example of rhizobium and ligwim symbiosis relationship that it forms a bulge it forms a ball mm, it forms an extra bulging part in the soil due to action of this soil microbes rhizobium which used to form the gall on the root by inserting the microbes in the action of root by, by the action of microbes on the root hair they used to form they used to form the in rhizobium community inside the root hair and used to curl the root hair after <coughs> the action of the microbes used to form gall then after that it used to fix atmospheric nitrogen and convert convert it to the ammonia form and it gives